Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Spotify to Notion in 23. So, of course, add in like Spotify content to your Notion pages. Although there is no uh, official integration, you can still manually include like uh, Spotify links or embedded Spotify content in your Notion workspace. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience so if you want to know how make sure to stick by and let's dive right into it and let's get started so first let's start by opening whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser make sure to go to the url section and let's start by opening notion Sorry, uh, go to this URL section, type notion.com, hit the enter button, and make sure to go and log in into your account for yourself. And of course, if you don't have an account, you can simply go and hit the sign up, uh, register, or get started to create your account. Follow the prompt and enter your credentials or information like email and a lot of other stuff, and you'll be able to create your account. Of course, you'll be able even to create your account or even log in into your account with a Google account if you don't want to do through all or go through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. Once you're done with this, of course, and make sure you will find that you will find yourself on this getting started page. And from here, let's just go now and open a new tab and go to Spotify spotify.com and hit the enter button of course again here you'll have to go and log in into your account if you have an account and if you don't have an account make sure to go and create one it's going to be pretty simple like notion and let's start from here so of course yes you can link spotify to your notion simply you will have to find the share and embed section in any spotify item and simply paste that link into an embedded block within the notion it's going to be pretty easy so let's go to notion as an example here and create a page add a page and let's just go and create a calendar why not i don't know let's just create a calendar and go to a new database instead because we don't have any database and here let's just go to the shopify or sorry spotify and let's just go to a random uh, music here like maybe this workout music click on it and here let's just go to this uh, song as an example just click on this three dots and simply you'll have to go to this share and bit track and as you can see you can even change the size of it here like let's just do this size should be like one why not 100% you can even change the color if you want to so here you can show the code if you want to so simply you'll have to go and copy it go to notion go to add it to whatever page you want and of course and here and here as you can see you'll be able to add like icon if you want to example it just put some music icon and you can even add some cover if you want to and of course once you paste the link here click on the enter button as you can see you'll find it's right here connected to your notion if you click on it you'll find everything here of course if you click on the link right here that will take you right away to the music you can play it whenever you want as you can see okay the sound is very harsh so i have to stop the music now and of course this now will not work just with the songs you can go and use it for playlist example you can get this whole playlist go to share embed playlist and here you can change the size the color again and copy the code or copy everything here go to notion again let's just do this for we are going to listen it on 5th july on witness day and here we can go and add this as a comment. You can even go and add this as a tag if you want to. Give it a title as an example, uh, gym day as an example. And here we are. Once we click on it, we'll find our uh, playlist here. Once we click on it, we will be able to access it and we'll be able to hear everything. And of course, if you don't want to guess this whole things, you can delete them. Make sure to let just this URL section if you want to. Because that's the important thing. As you can see, if you click, it'll click on it, it will still open our playlist here. So let me just go and close this, delete this page as an example. And of course, other than that, you can do a lot of other stuff in Notion. Of course, so let's start like as an example, what to use Notion for. Of course, Notion may be powerful or may be, uh, may have 
help you uh, with, of course, a lot of uh, things. So many interested users, for example, have one main question, like what's the use of Notion for? So of course, Notion is a complex and all in one tool that can be used for varieties of purposes. And of course, you can call Notion and notes taken and idea organizing organizing sorry platform like uh, a lot of notion alternatives but it's also so much more than that of course for instance you can use notion to take notes as an example uh, track your progress create a mood board for, for art and organize project details and of course loads of notion shortcuts can expand its functionality even further so let's say or let's start by how can we use like notion for work so of course we can use a uh, notion for work by tracking our goals of course we can go and add a new page an example we can go and import our data as an example of like work or something like that you can go and add tables uh, tasks that we have to do if we click on more we'll be able to add like some lists and even galleries if you want to so let's say we are going to use it for work we can even go as an example and go with empty pages or even start writing with AI. So as an example, you'll be this, this is a good feature that will help you do a lot of things. So of course you can go and do a lot of stuff. So for us, let me just go and delete that again, go and create a new page. Let's just start by an empty page. We can go here and do whatever we want. Of course, if you want to use as an example, uh, AI will have to simply go and use the slash button. It will be able to do text page, do list, and a lot of other stuff. So let's just say example we are going to do to do list. So here, uh, go shopping, or as example like in get bananas. So simple as that. And of course, if we done it, we can simply go and check it. Um, Okay, I'm writing it like wrong. It's not a big deal. So simply, you can do a lot of stuff with Notion. As example, as I said, track goals, create like designs, is uh, systems, automate using API, track and manage like uh, content and manage complex projects. Like this can be used like for work. Of course, for other stuff, example, uh, you can use it as an agenda for yourself for a task, uh, uh, for ta taking notes, and of course, a task manager for you like the task manager of the uh, of the pc as you can see you'll find everything here uh, if it's working if it's not what are we doing it could be the same for your notion so of course you can even go download even the app of course you can operate notion the through like a web but of course having the apps on your desktop and even mobile devices is vastly more convenient of course, the app is, I guess, in my opinion, is much better even than Notion, uh, than the web uh, site here. So make sure to go and download the app, of course, especially if you're using like your phone uh, so much or you don't access the web too much or browsers, you're just using your apps on your PC. Maybe an app will be very helpful for you. You can even go here to settings and members, as example, and invite people to see your pages, your task lists, your uh, a lot of other stuff that you did here. You will be able to uh, add uh, people to see it if you want them, and you can even give them permission to uh, change, uh, to make some changes if you want someone like to do this for you. Like uh, you can, as I said, use it for work. So you're a boss. You can do. Uh, you can send link for like uh, workers in your uh, company to do the work for you. It's going to be super exciting. You can even go and add like some blocks, for example, images with text, with even location if you want to, with to-do lists and a lot of other stuff, of course. So you can go and familiarize yourself with Notion. There's a lot of courses about it if you all want to become professional on it. As an example, a lot of people like could use your help in Notion. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty hard for others. A lot of people don't know how to use it. So maybe if you're prof professional using it, you may offer your help as a freelance and get paid from it. So if reach this point of this video congratulations and there you have it uh, of course although there is no direct integration uh, you can manually add spotify links or embedded uh, spotify content info into your notion pages of course get creative with your workspace and enjoy the convenience of having spotify content alongside to your notes or calendar and a notion so thank you for watching and if you find this video helpful make sure to give a, give it a like and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you, of course, in the next video.